Welcome back. Another day out on the water and we are out on Mark and Robin's boat again. And today we are looking for anything that bites because we haven't been in the ocean in forever. So we're not going off any reports. We're not going off of what we've done recently. We're just out there trying to make a report, trying our stuff that we know how to do. We're going to bounce around the 90 foot range bottom fishing. I got some spinning rods, got my little micro jig rod. I even brought a fly rod today that I have no idea what I'm doing with, but we're kind of idling around getting our first spot. We got live wolf full of live bait. We got dead bait. We got plugs, poppers, flies. We got everything. So we better catch a fish today. And we'll get back with you once we uh, start doing our first bit of fishing. So that might be what you had, Mark. Maybe, man, my dad took hold yeah. I don't think he's gonna keep, but he's getting close for a net. Here, let him get his net, honey. Get, take care of him. Grab the other net, honey. Huh? Grab the other net. It's on this side. Yeah. He's close. That's a brand new net, too. Yep. Settle, buddy, settle. That's a close fish, man. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, he is close. Oh, that'd be nice. Bring your head and come back this way. I can still probably get him with this net. I'm going to hold him. I mean that the rut net Robin has it. He should be super tired by the time I get him here. There you go. Yes! <laughs> That's so cool. Ten pound braid on the light. Tackle. On a little micro jig. <laughs> that means you're oh, good. I just pulled the jig right out. That might just keep her. 36. Close. Yeah. In the old days, he would have been. Huh. Definitely over 33. Oh, yeah. 10 pound braid. 10 pound braid cobia on the little micro jig by the tsunami. All right. I'm going to do my spinning rod and I'm going to put my. Yeah, I'm going to heavier tackle now. We'll put the heat to these things. That was on a little 2000 Evict. 10 pound braid, scale that? tech rod. Yeah, that would have been a keeper. Yeah, it's okay, a good start. Come on, so I just picked up a fly rod at Harry Goods and I don't really know how to use it. I haven't even taken the clear stuff off, which I make fun of people for doing. But we got some cobias around. Just gotta wait for them to pop back up and we do not need a far cast. Oh, we don't want remorse though. That's funny. <laughs> I mean like, with just a little cast like that, that's like, we could get so many fish with just a little teeny cast like that with that distance. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh now you got him. Oh, five times. I need a bigger hook. That's five. Boom, now you got him. There you go. Oh, oh that's man, six. Man, he's hitting it sideways. Seven. All right, I'm putting a different hook on before, I, so before I hook him and lose him. So oh my God, I'm wrapped. Oh, that's why. All right, we, we got it now. We're good now net it took like a hundred casts oh my god but you did it Joey. but we got a cobia and i don't even know if my reel's on right i cannot imagine i gotta go to the front of the boat so you guys can net this or actually i can probably hand line them or you go there mark that'll work hey, that's a nice cobia. Awesome. this is my first ocean fish on fly i don't know what kind of fly rod i have i don't know what kind of reel i have i bought it at harry goods I know I'm not supposed to bend the rod too much like I'm doing. It's a good warm up fish though. Alright, so try getting up high. Oh! Come on, you gotta land him. Honey, you gotta land him. Oh boy, go bend your rod. Woo! Bend your rod! <laughs> Fly fishing. Yeah. There we go, Cobia on fly, first one. He's a little baby, but I'll take it. We're gonna get a quick measurement on him and send him back. Can you get that hook mark? That is what he ate. That's him. 25 inch Cobia, going back.
Mm. That's a strong fish. Strong fish. Mm. Hey, don't say that, please. I got a big mangrove. Oh, it's a mangrove. Good job, Joey. Holy shit. Good job, Joey. Big mangrove. Good job, Joey. Woo! First big, big mangrove. mangrove of the day. Wow, good job. Got tangled big, up in the flat big. line a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, okay. Big mangrove. Pumping it like a crazy person right there. That is a giant mangrove. I hope that clip came out and you get to see this thing. That's crazy. What is that? That is a gigantic mangrove. Probably about an eight pounder. That's what we're looking for. Eight, nice big mangroves. Let's see the size of that thing. Show you how big these mangroves get offshore. This isn't even a true, this is a big one, but not a giant, giant. 24 and a quarter about. Woo! First good fish for the box. We're just drifting down another bait. Just kind of getting into the, the zone or whatever you want to call it, where I feel like the fish are. And we got the Salt X 6000. Oh my gosh. You got hit ready, Joey? Ready? Oh, I think it's a bottom. I don't know what that was, if it was a fish or not. Big beefy trophy two rod. Here he goes. That's the right one, Joey. You want another one? Mm. Mm. Come on. Come on, that. I got a shark on me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, nice, Ooh, one, nice man, bro, Joey. Good job. Oh my God. We beat the shark on two of them. Wow, Joey. Good job, man. Holy <laughs> shit. Good work. Another huge mangrove. Unbelievable. Another big one. Another big mangrove, and look at the tail on that. Tell me the shark didn't almost get that fish. That is a fresh cut right there. Shark almost got him, but instead we got another one. Not quite as big as the last one, but another fish well over five pounds. Sending it back down again. You lock this drag up on this 6,000, it does some serious power. That's two, we're going for the hat trick here. We can get three for three on big mangroves. That is good. Okay. Joey's got him. He's running right into it. You know? Mm. He got some coming up. Oh my gosh, shark. shark and a mangrove. Yep, good job, another mangrove. It must be a pod. Woo! Good job, Joey. It must be a pod. Three. Right into it, Joey. Nice, another mangrove. Goodness. Little guy. Made it back in. Had luck today. You see the shirt I'm wearing this whole video is my Bimini Bay snapper shirt and it brought us some snappers because that is a nice chunky snapper. And that one's a little bigger. And then we got the giant. Look at that thing. It's actually past zero. Just, just over 24 there. So I think we did said it was 24 and a quarter. Nice little pile of them. Little snappers mixed with some cobia and some bonita action. So that's what we got this time, just getting back into offshore fishing. Hopefully the season is gonna be a lot calmer and flatter than the last couple months have been. But that's it, again, let me know what you think about the fly stuff. You wanna see more of it? I don't really, well, not that I don't care if you don't wanna see more of it, but I'm gonna be doing it. Cause that was a lot of fun. And I know if I go offshore as much as I do, I'm gonna have some really cool opportunities with that thing. It'd be sick to get the sailfish teased up and get them on it. I don't know what we're gonna do. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We will see you in the next video.